Singing balls, everybody. I don't know what to oh. say. Oh, my green that, that, that was as remarkable a musical performance well, as we've ever you. had on the show. I was concerned because when you introduced me, the audience started clapping. Right. And I'm afraid they didn't hear singing balls. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so even if they hadn't heard, it becomes <laughs> obvious so soon thereafter. Uh huh. <laughs> well, see, I didn't realize. That. Yeah. No. How how long have you worked on that little number? I like minutes. I, I've you know. <laughs> Good to see it's you again. It's a fun thing to do because you don't have to do anything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and the rehearsal must be a riot. Well, you know, this is not what I wear at rehearsal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... I don't... Um, you know, I saw your uh, movie Novocaine. You did? Yes, uh -huh. I, I got a big kick out of this film. A big and, kick? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Helena Bottom Carter? Helena Bottom oh, Carter. Oh, man, tell me all about that. <laughs> well, and Laura Dern, too. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I can tell you all about both of them. All right, well, let's go. They're dynamic uh, women that are fun to be with. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and in the, in the, <laughs> well, what case, am I supposed to in say? the case of one, she's uh, semi-naked. Uh, yes, and I've never done that before. Never had a sort of serious sex scene, and it's a completely awkward. Really? Yeah, it's very, very awkward. There's a lot of, you know, strapping in and, you know... <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Strapping in? <laughs> well, that's in. just me. You know, you know <laughs> strapping down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> I didn't... And it's, it's amazing because every time I burst them, so... Um, <laughs> No, it's, it's a completely awkward situation. You've heard actors say it's an awkward situation, and it is. Yeah, but it looked great, is what my, my point is. As well, a, that's as the idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, you're supposed to go, I, I wish that were me. Yes, well, I did. I said that to myself. I said, yeah. boy, I, w I wish that, that were Meaning me. Helena? No, 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 oh. no, no, no. I wish... <laughs> now, now you're dreaming. Yeah. The, the uh, other day. Uh, and, the, the, uh, and, and the movie you, you play, uh, it's, it's a strange I, part for you, really. Uh, the, the evil, not evil, really, but you find yourself in an odd situation as a dentist. Yes, he's a, a dentist who makes an erotic mistake mm -hmm. and uh, tries to cover it up. Right. Which is kind of unbelievable that a man would make an erotic mistake. <laughs> and try and we're, uh, we're opening against Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You'll be fine. Well, see, here's what I figured. Harry Potter has a very specific audience. Mm -hmm. Everybody. <laughs> so what we have, we have the, the people who do not fall under the category of everybody. Ah. I think that'll work. Yeah. I think that'll be yeah. pretty good. But it's a, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's a, it's a very fun, it's kind of a psychological yeah. thriller, yeah. kind of like... Uh, Usual suspects, but with me in it. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> and you're not sure what's going to happen next. You're not it sure what's going to happen. These, uh, turns and you don't and know who to trust. Yeah, yeah, it's very interesting, very exciting. Now, uh, I saw you a couple of weeks ago on, on the Emmy Awards, and, and you and I, we had, didn't talk about this, but we were in, uh, nominated in the We were the both same, in the same, same category. category yeah. and we, what a vicious battle that was. <laughs> <laughs> the way you campaign, night after night on this show, I, I don't have a show. This is so unfair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know what that, came over me. I just wanted it so bad. Yeah. That, that would have changed your life if you had won that, but, yeah. you know, it, it was your year. It was, it was you, <laughs> it was me, it was, uh, I think, Ellen DeGeneres, I think Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Um, I'm leaving somebody out here. Uh, I, uh, 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 oh, shoot, come on. What, who is it? Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady. Yeah, right, and, and yeah. Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. Who won? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know how she won? Email campaign. <laughs> is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> You, you were nominated for hosting uh, the Academy Awards. Right. And you did a fantastic oh, job. I thought much. you did a great job. Yeah. Okay. Nice going. 
Will you do it again, do you think? Uh, I don't know. You know who I modeled it on? No. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Well, Johnny Carson. <laughs> ah, well, do it. Too. You, you can't. You can't do any better than that. No, you yeah, can't. Yeah. And uh, I thought you were great on the show. Actually. No, you didn't. Uh, yes, I did. I swear, I was there. You're that the night. one. I know you yeah. were there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was there. there. And I. Uh, what do you mean? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. That <laughs> night when I was hosting the Oscars, I just saw you. That's all I could think about. And is the kind of thing you would like to do more and more of? It's fun. You know, it's strange to to look out and see an audience of celebrities and go, oh, they're my friends. Mm -hmm. You know, they were, they were very kind and nice, and it was a good audience. Yeah. See, I had just a, a little different version of that experience. Well, everyone hated you. Yeah. Yeah. I looked out, I said, oh, there's celebrities. They don't like me. Yeah. yeah. I understand yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, and, and tell us uh, about the, the book, Shop Girl. Shop Girl is... Now uh, in paperback. Now in paperback. We have the... We had it in hard, this is the hardcover. That's the hardcover. And then they did a, a very interesting thing. They changed the color mm -hmm. for the uh, paperback. It's wow. a slim a volume. And uh, is, sometimes it, it's daunting. You know, for people to um, to read a right. novel, so they, we actually also have the shop girl pamphlet. And what what is this? Oh no! <laughs> you can, oh, and you really yeah. it, it's, it's distilled yeah. into the yeah. That's an excellent idea. You put it in your back pocket. <laughs> yeah. And I notice here with a little sticker on the uh, cover. Yeah, well, of the that's paper. Uh, that's not the Oprah sticker. I didn't uh -huh. get that. That's the uh, the Taliban book club. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That's a pretty good endorsement, though. Yeah, I would think. A, you know, it's changing rapidly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what about the uh, the guy who wrote the who wrote the uh, book and then uh, Oprah uh, was uh, was on Oprah's book club and then Jonathan said, Franzen, yeah, the correct, won the uh, yeah, National he, Book Award. He won the National Book Award yeah. last night, and he uh, he had received the Oprah sticker. The, it's quite an endorsement, and it sells a lot of books. Oh, sure. And uh, he, uh, I think, uh, kind of maybe naively just said to you know when you kind of first start doing promotion and you're talking to a little tiny newspaper mm -hmm. and I don't want to say because then I'll get letters from Omaha, mm -hmm. you know, uh, <laughs> and, and you think you're being quite private. So he said, well, you know, I thought my book was a little different than the Oprah Club and right. wanted a little different aura around it and then uh, sort of blew up in his face. But he was very kind about it. Oprah was very kind. Mm -hmm. They, uh, I mean, he didn't, he didn't appear on the Oprah show. Have, have you? Have but he you, will be appearing on Martha Stewart's Good Morning, Wisconsin. So. <laughs> <laughs> have you been on the Oprah show? I've been on the Oprah show. How many times have you been on? I think a couple of times. I was on with Goldie Hawn once. Right, for uh, a film? Uh, I think so, yeah. yeah. What yeah. other? I, mean, yeah. I can't think of another reason why. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, be happy to be I mean, I, I did a film with Fair Goldie, and I, yeah. as I recall, yeah. I can't think of another reason we would have gone on together. Now, did, did, uh, uh, did, do, you, do, you, do you know of a reason Oprah would not want me on her show? Yes. <laughs> really? Why, why wouldn't... What is it? Uh, just your fundamental nature, I guess. I, <laughs> really? No, I have the feeling that Oprah doesn't like me, too. But, but, but you've been on the damn show. I've been on the show, and then I... I don't know, I just have this vague... I have no reason, you know, uh, to think it, that... it did not come up on the show. You didn't say, Oprah, do you like me? Well, I thought she liked me at that point. Oh, you did think she liked you. Yeah. But now something's happened and you... I think, think she... something has happened. I, I don't know what it is. And you, it's just something you kind of worry about, uh -huh. you know? Because you don't want Oprah... Well, that's, that's the thing, because Oprah is somebody to... to uh, you don't want Oprah no. to not like right. you. you because people it, like Oprah. And if they like Oprah, Oprah, and people Oprah love doesn't like you. The most powerful woman in, in this country, if not the world, Oprah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> do you think in your case it has anything to do with the singing balls? <laughs> I would think that you would I'll like that. I'll be honest that. with you. <laughs> I, I, I'll be honest with you. I called her up first. I said I like to do the singing balls. <laughs> no dice. Yeah. All right. You, you were. They have the uh, Millionaire Show and uh, Martin Short. Your oh friend my Martin God. Short. Yeah. Don't mention. And that. Paul Schaefer was involved in this indirectly, weren't you, Paul? Yes, I was. <laughs> All right. Tell this us that this was a disastrous. You you guys were his lifelines, right? His were you a call. lifeline? I was going to be a lifeline. I wish he'd called you. I funny. bet you did. Yeah. No, I'm just make a long story short. I, uh, Marty Short was on the, I can't believe I'm talking about this because it was one of the sickest, ah, I was so sick really? that day. Yeah. Uh, I was going to be a lifeline for Marty Short in the field of art. You know a lot about art? Art, I, I, I can pretty much mm -hmm. answer, I, I think, any question that, that uh, Regis could come up with. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> so they called me, uh, with a literature question. Oh, gosh. And, you know, and it was a trick question mm -hmm. because it evidently had a correct answer. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I, you know, I confused myself. Yeah. But, you know, I, I don't criticize myself for missing the question 
Because that's, you know, some things you know, some things you don't know. That's right. But I, what I criticize myself for is not saying, I don't know, uh -huh. instead of steering them wrong. Yeah, but at that point, they, uh, there's a great deal of pressure on you. They phoned you. You are the font of knowledge at that point. They yes. want to hear from you well, the also, answer. Well, also, I think they coerced Marty into calling me because he had a literature person mm -hmm. you know, ready to call, but I think they wanted to talk to Steve yeah. about the literature yeah. question, and so I could blow it and be humiliated forever. <laughs> and his, his literature person was like one of his high school teachers, wasn't that part I, of it? I story? don't know. I think it was a, profe a yeah. professor. Of and, and Paul, you were going to be like his I was going to be music, yeah. yeah. Luckily, I got off the hook. Yeah. Literature question. Why wouldn't he call uh, like a college professor of literature? No. Because he had stupid Steve. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But it was a... Oh, no. It was a... Here, I'll give you... I think I remember the question. It was uh, which book... We were down to two, which makes uh -huh. it even worse. Um, oh, you just had to choose one or the choose other. Choose one or the other, yeah. yes. Uh, one or the other. Uh, the only thing that would have made it worse is if they were down to one. <laughs> uh, the question was, who uh, is, which of these books is, is uh, written in the first person, I think it was uh, The Great Gatsby or The Native Son, mm -hmm. or Native Son? Mm -hmm. What would you say? I would say The Great Gatsby because I know the answer. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, I'm happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> But it's misleading. Misleading in, in what sense? Well, it's misleading because, you know, Gatsby, you think, well, he doesn't speak. He doesn't, he never speaks. Mm. So then you realize it's a narrator. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. so. And how much, how much money did, did, did Martin not get for this? I would prefer not to talk about it. All right, fine. Well, that's too bad. But, you know, uh, uh, with that kind of pressure, I don't think that I would have been able to come up with the right answer either. Well, it wasn't that. I mean, I could have come up with the right answer if I had known it. I see. It wasn't that I was so nervous I couldn't think of the right answer. So it's just ignorance. It's that it was ignorance. I see. Well, uh, <laughs> but it was, you know, it was the ignorance was not to say I'm ignorant. Right. It was to think. It's to think I knew. It's like a roller coaster. Because you're only down to without two. a bar. Yeah. But why would it be like a roller coaster without a saloon? I don't understand. <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, show a little bit of the uh, the Novocaine movie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's show it all. <laughs> let's break precedent. <laughs> well, all right. You're the boss. Do you still do you still play cards with Johnny Carson? Uh, sometimes I do. When yes. was the last time you saw him? Uh, I think maybe two or three months ago. How's he doing? He's doing great. Yeah. And is you and a bunch of guys go over to his house every night? No, they come over to my house. You're, to your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and Carl, have... Carl Reiner and Neil Simon. I shouldn't. This is illegal, so I shouldn't really. Well, no, be talking mean? about no, it. We're... It's not illegal. But we're very careful. We say, "I'll wager a blue one." <laughs> But this has been, going on, been going on forever and ever, hasn't it? It's been going on a long time. Yeah. And, and what, what does Johnny talk about when he comes over? Does he, does he ever say, you know, he misses being on TV or anything? No, he, I, you know, I shouldn't talk about his personal... Well, okay. Um, <laughs> no, I think he's quite happy. He, made, he made, made a decision not to... In fact, I had asked him to appear on the Academy Awards. Oh. And um, I had a joke. I, I was going to come out and I was going to say... Uh, uh, I've just been looking at the tapes, and it turns out I'm the greatest Oscar host ever. <laughs> and I'm so excited. And then Billy Crystal was going to walk yeah. out behind me, and I was going to go, oh, and he was going to go, well, I've been looking at my tapes, and I'm the greatest host ever. And then Johnny Carson was going to come out, and the place was going to go crazy. Yeah. But, you know, Johnny, once he retired, I guess he, yeah. he retired. But he's, he's funny. Like some of us should. <laughs> <laughs> he he's, must be funny he's at very these card funny. games. Yeah. He's very yeah. funny. Yeah. Yeah. Very funny. All right, now let's get back to the uh, Novocaine film. It's, okay, uh, I've been you're trying a dentist. To. All right, what are we going to see here? I don't know. It's a clip. It's a clip of... Uh, <laughs> is, is Helena Bonham Carter in this I one? I think Helena Bonham Carter is in this one. Hold down yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Steve Martin, Novocaine. Take a look, kids. Right, here you yeah. go. <laughs> Opens tomorrow. Just, uh... Guess what happens next? <laughs> <laughs> That's when the strapping in took place. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's always uh, always great fun to have you here. It's great to be here. I hope you come back soon, and I'm, I mean it. I, I'm, come back soon. Okay. Well, all we have to do is write some material. All right. Well, <laughs> well pull up a chair. Um, good to have you with us. Great. Have a great holiday great. season. Thank Steve you very Martin, much. everybody. We'll be back with Earl Scruggs. <laughs>